What's up guys, Aram here, back with another video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own temporary tattoos with nothing more than a paper, a piece of paper, and a pencil. So, what you're going to need, a pencil of any kind, a pen or marker will not work. Any type of pencil, mechanical or not, it'll work. Uh, a piece of unlined, just printer paper, it doesn't have to be perfect. Size doesn't matter. You're going to need a bowl of water. I prefer warm because it's not going to freeze your skin, but cold water, any water will work. And then these are optional. Um, I prefer using some uh, soap, antibacterial or dish soap, whatever liquid soap you got. Foam soaps and uh, bar soaps will not work. Liquid soap. And then, and then just any hand sanitizer. And then you're going to need paper towels, too. I forgot to put that in there. This is not optional. Just these guys are optional. So what you're going to do first, um, these two things are just for um, cleaning the area. That way the tattoo will stick better. I highly recommend it because it will not only make it last longer, but it will end up looking better at the end. So to start off, all you're going to need is paper towel, fold it up so it's not thin, and then you're going to put about four drops, depending on the size of your tattoo, do more or less, but it, you're just sanitizing the area. So personally, I'm just going to put something on the top of my hand, so I'm just going to use about five drops of hand sanitizer, and then like half to one, like, barely a drop of dish soap. Okay, so the dish soap is green, the hand sanitizer is purple. Just barely any dish soap. And you're just going to want to rub that mixture on wherever you want to sanitize, or wherever the tattoo is going to be, and make sure you sanitize an area large enough to fit the whole tattoo. But then again, this is optional. So you don't have to sanitize anything if you don't want. But you just want to rub off all the dirt and grimes that may be on the site. And then you want another paper towel. And then you're going to want to just dip it in that bowl of water. Just very lightly. Just a little damp. Like that. And then you just want to rinse it. Rinse it off because you also don't want soap or the hand sanitizer left over on your hand because um, these are temporary tattoos and don't go doing this if uh, your parents or such don't allow it. But if you want to remove it, alcohol removes it. So um, you can even just use the same hand sanitizer that you sanitized with. So you want to rinse it off with water and then dry it off. We don't want any liquid. You want it to be bone dry. So it's nice and sanitized now. No water on it. And then what you're going to want to do is dry out your design that you're, you want tattooed. Um, if you can draw it, you can have it tattooed. So um, I'm just going to do something simple. And another thing you can do if you don't want to draw it or you have something elaborate that you don't want to freehand, you can take your piece of paper or, um, yeah, you take your piece of paper and you tape it to the screen of your computer if you have one and then pull up the image full screen on Google and trace it through the paper. And if you have your screen brightness up bright enough, it'll shine right through and you'll be able to see the image and trace it out. However, I'm just going to do something simple, like, I don't know, in a week's time, they will be completely gone, and they do fade over the days. However, they are waterproof, and um, like I said, a way that I found to take it off is either hand sanitizer or rubbing alcohol. Um, I'm just going to do something like a smiley face emoji. So, you base draw the, uh, your design. Lightly, that way if you mess up, you have room to fix. So, 
see like I put a point at the corner right there and it doesn't look right so you just erase it and fix it okay so there's the basic and then over all of your lines you're going you're going to want to push down a little hard on the pencil and stretch those lines out to about a millimeter thick and press pretty hard um, that way you get a quite a bit of uh, graphite on the paper and it'll transfer the graphite to your skin later on once you apply the tattoo. So you just want to go over it and kind of bolden all of your lines. This may take a little bit depending on the size of your um, tattoo. The bigger the tattoo, the longer this will take. Um, one time I did a pretty elaborate tattoo for my little brother. And it took me about 20 minutes to, it took me about two minutes to draw the whole thing out. But then it took 20 to bolden the lines. So <laughs> that was my dog. He's laying down and finds it needful to moan when he lays down. Um, so you just want to go around and draw over all the lines making sure that you have quite a bit of lead on the paper. Well, graphite, not lead. If this was lead, you would die. Because it is sticking the graphite to the first few layers of your skin, which is not harmful. Um, it's, more, it's just kind of staining your skin with graphite, so it's not harmful in any way. And the only way it would be harmful is if you're allergic to graphite, which... I've never seen someone allergic to graphite, so the chances of that are likely slim to none. However, if you do have an allergic reaction or start itching or burning or having hives or bumps, remove it immediately with alcohol because I don't want anyone getting hurt just from trying to put on a temporary tattoo. So I'm almost done here. I'm just working on the mouth. Sometimes the turns can be a little difficult. This can be quite tiring for your hands too. However, it's also an exercise. You start feeling the burns in your triceps from going back and forth with the pencil. And I'm done. Okay, so once you get your design, I just did simple little smiley face emoji um you just want to cut it out and leave about i don't know maybe a centimeter on each side of the image that way you have room for things to set in so you just want to cut it out and get it on a little piece of paper like that and then you want to place it where you want um, this part may be a little difficult if you don't have someone to help you, but you want to get, if you don't have someone helping you, then you want to do this before you try to put it on your hand and position it. Put a paper towel down to, um, make sure that it doesn't drip all over your table or wherever you're doing this at. And then you want to take another paper towel and you want to fold it to a size where it's just bigger than the image and that way it's uh, thicker and can absorb more water. So I'm just going to do it about that big. It's There's the image on the paper towel. It's almost the right size. So then you want to dip this paper towel in water and soak it up pretty thoroughly. Just don't um, not like too too much because then you'll have a lot of excess water running into the paper towel, or if you don't use one, onto your table, which is a, not a good thing. So it's pretty wet. Um, I, it's almost dripping, but not quite. And then you want to set it down if you can, and then lay your tattoo in place. And you just want to put the wet cloth on the tattoo, press it, and with pressure on it, wait for about 
um, I don't know, a minute. And while doing so, I'm going to play some music for you guys. Sorry, I'm trying to type here. While trying to do this as well. Oh, I can't see on my laptop. So, we're just going to sit here for about a minute and uh, let it apply with pressure on constant pressure. I'd say about a medium pressure on the uh, paper towel. If you're a YouTuber, you're probably using this. Uh -huh. And this. Copyrighted so stuff. You should start using ads so by now to be honest we're probably almost at a minute so with pressure on it you just chill here If I had to tell you about how much pressure I'm putting on it, I'd say it's about three pounds of pressure. And a good way to judge if it's almost done, you should be able to start seeing your design through the paper towel and the piece of paper. And if you need, just grab some water in your hands and re-wet the paper towel like this. You guys probably can't see the paper towel. But you just grab your water and scoop it with your hand and then put some more on top. I'm starting to see the design very faintly through, so it's almost done. If you leave the song too long, it will start to fade and become watery. They don't want to do that. Um, you can just barely see the design through. I don't know if that's picking up on camera or not. But I'm done now. So, um, you don't want to remove the paper first. You want to remove paper towel. It appears that I haven't thoroughly wetted this part of the um, tattoo. As you can see, there's a white spot. So I'm just going to directly put some water on that little spot on the paper towel. Right there. And put quite a bit of pressure on it because it will squeegee the water out of the paper towel onto your paper. Okay, so I don't want to overdo it. You can now see the design through the paper towel or the piece of paper, and you want to slowly and carefully peel it off. And it won't always work 100%. This one turned out decent, but there will still be graphite on the piece of paper. You can discard this, or I don't think you can reuse the same piece of paper several times because there can only be so much graphite on it. Um, plus, it would already be wet. So, you do that, and then you just want to grab another paper towel and not wipe off because you'll smudge it, but press on your tattoo with a paper towel to dry it off. And carefully, slowly peel that off. And you're nearly done. So now, as you can see, it's on my skin, the tattoo. And if you want this to last longer, I haven't tried it myself, but if you, people say if you spray a thin coat of hairspray on it, let it sit for a couple seconds, and then uh, not wipe, but press it off, it supposedly locks it in. Or I've heard also if you have a cotton ball and uh, baby powder, you sprinkle baby powder on it and then 
wipe it away and then sprinkle and wipe about four times and that'll lock it in and it can last longer then. But it's just a quick and easy little way to give yourself a um, temporary tattoo. You can show your friends or something. Um, and I'll update you daily. Well, I'll try to. But I'll try to give you guys updates by the day of it fading or not. Because I want to show you guys that it truly lasts as long as I'm saying it does. Because with such an easy process, it doesn't seem like it would stay very long. But it does. Um, I gave my little brother that um, tattoo about three days ago. And it still looks like day one. So I'm going to judge and say that it lasts about a week before it becomes like invisible, not invisible, invisible, so you can't quite tell what it is. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd make this quick little video. It's a trick I've been doing for a while. Um, just a quick, easy way to, I don't know, kill time or improve style, or it's kind of up to you what you want to do with it, but. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you appreciated it. Leave a comment telling me what content I should create. I'm completely open to your guys' suggestions. Subscribe to my channel if you appreciate uh, my content. It helps me out a lot. And hit the notifications. That way you don't miss out on my next video, these updates. Bye, guys.